Hello everybody, it's Kellaxon here, and if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys uh, should become patrons on Patreon to join our Discord server, get early access, or request a video, just like Jonathan did, because Jonathan wants us to compare My Hero Academia's tournament arc to Ruby's tournament arc. Okay. And so dokey. I have some notes here. I had a girl. That I would like to talk about. Because I was about to say, like, man, it's been a minute since I've watched that. So here's some clear things, okay? The tournament arc for My Hero Academia actually finished. Yeah, <laughs> that's That's, true. that's number one. Cause it, cause that's the easy it one. It subverts the expectation, because the whole time we were doing the reaction, I'm just like, oh, like, bad guy or stain or whatever this person is going to come in because, oh. like, oh boy. Because we've all read... We've all watched Fairy Tale. We've all seen, um... I don't know another anime that's had a tournament arc. What are you doing? I'm just making so it's A and D. Okay. Oh, okay. Anyways, so, you know, we've all seen Fairy Tale. We've all watched, uh, I can't, what's the other one that we keep Naruto? Reading? Yeah, we all know they get interrupted. <laughs> like, the tournament arcs never finish, no one ever wins, and everyone goes home. Like, that's just kind of what, what seems to happen. Yes. So, for My Hero Academia, them actually finishing was actually kind of interesting to me. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't remember what I watched, but I, I when I was watching Rubies, I was just like, yeah, we're not finishing this. It you know what I mean? There's, but there's also a lot of sort of... I should also say that um, the tournament arc takes place on the entire tournament. Like, you see everyone. Where Ruby was based very few in, like, one team. You only really care about what happens to Team Ruby. Well, we're going to talk about that in a second. Yes. Um, so, so I the let's, shift of focus. Let's, uh, let's look at the tournament... <laughs> the tournament. The tournament arc as a chirp. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Continue. They are easy to make filler with. Tournament arcs can be stretched to dangerously long for quite <laughs> arbitrary reasons. Uh, anyway, so we're, we're just gonna... Uh, his, That's his, another thing his about final both opponent of these. would probably be his rival, or the big bad, or yeah. his dragon. It, or... Su it subjects it, uh, rather, what, what should I say? It, I think, I think both of them does a good job of, like, subverting it, because the hero of the story, Deku, he does not make it. He does not beat so let's like... Icy Hot. And with Ruby, it's like the villains aren't the Dragon ones Ball are... has a tournament arc. Is well known for its turn its tournaments having over several over the years. So Dragon Ball, I don't know if these are actually unfinished uh, tournaments. But I can tell no. you about I Fairy can... Tale. Obviously, that seemed to get a little interrupted. Um, or at least at the end, vampires. Not vampires. Why am I still on vampires? Dragons occurred. Yeah. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Naruto. Yep. That uh, was Hunter Hunter. Or kind of. Uh, it said that. Uh, Oh, dear. That might be a spoiler. Never mind Pokemon, obviously. Oh, Pokemon but... has had several. Exactly. Beyblade. Okay. Why is Beyblade Bay put in here? That's not an anime. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Beyblade was probably made in Japan. They don't like funky eyes. All right. Uh, Dead Man Wonderland, right? Um, I have not seen all I've seen Dead Man Wonderland. Wonderland, yeah. so it's fine. Anyway, there's just countless, right? And I don't know if the ones we've named had actually, like, finished or not, but every anime I've seen except My Hero Academia, they never finished. There's, it's always, like, a setup to something entirely different. But with this, it's not about plot. Is that, like, oh, it's a thing by a villain with My Hero Academia. Well, for like here... It is in, like, like it is in uh, Naruto and in, in Fairy Tale. With, I'm getting With My that. Hero Academia, all it is is about development of the characters. The problem here is, like, it's like, I scripted notes, but you don't know yeah, what I true. did. Well, then just anyway, pump it up. Anyway, so, I've said that there's focus on the earlier fights rather than the later fights um, in Ruby, because, like, they really focus on those fights with Ruby and Juniper. They, like, it basically gets its own episodes. Mm -hmm. But Ruby doesn't really show the ones later. It doesn't show how Sun and Neptune got in. It doesn't show... Uh, how Pira and Nora got into the finals, like, mm -hmm. so it really only... Oh, yeah, yeah, you never see the And Pira so for My Hero Academia, even though, like, we didn't really see a lot of, like, say, Todoroki, and I don't remember who he thought anymore, uh, Bakugo, right? Yeah. Like, even though it was, like, really short, like, the fights didn't last, like, for an entire episode or whatever, we still saw everything, pretty yes. much. Like, no matter how short or how long it took or how much they sped it up or how much they slowed it down, right? And so... I think both of them, though, to an extent, like, Ruby was really about showing off a couple things, I think. So, Penny and Pura, I think, can kind of be compared to Bakugo and Todoroki. Like, to an extent, like, those were drawn out for, like, hype and suspense. 
or yes. lack of suspense when Bakugo just, like, destroys him, right? And then you have, like, Deku and Todoroki, which is also, like, that was supposed to be, like, a big thing. You know what I mean? So for Ruby, that's really Penny versus Pira, or even you could stretch Mercury versus Yang right? Mm -hmm. And so it's about, like, those are the ones that are really stretched out in Ruby, and in My Hero Academia, those are the two that are really stressed, like, stretched out for mm -hmm. character character development, right? Because I don't want to say that the tournament arc didn't do anything, because I think that the difference is, is that Ruby, like, it was set up for the fall of Beacon, and it was sort of like, I don't want to say it was meta, but it was an internal thing. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't just get interrupted. Like, the tournament itself, Cinder was plotting to use the tournament as setup. Like, it wasn't like the writers were planning to use it as setup. Like, Cinder in the show was planning to use it as yeah. setup. Do you know what I mean? Instead of it just being sort of like, oh, like, we were having a tournament, but something, like, happens. It also huh. kind of, You know what I mean? Like, the villains just happen to inter Like, no, they were planning the setup from the beginning sort of thing, right? But for My Hero Academia, the conflict sort of happens after. Like, they've already all gotten into their internships and whatever. Now the city's burning instead yeah. of Ruby where it got interrupted. And, and also, I think like, that, like, there's stakes in My Hero Academia, but not quite the same way that there is Ruby, where you get this constant... Well, because Ruby, danger. it's not about who wins. Yeah. And so that's kind of the weird part, is during the tournament arc... Like, I, I don't know watching it back then, but watching it now, I like, you know what I mean? Like, when I watched it with you, it's like, nobody's winning this. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. nobody's winning this tournament, you know what I mean? And so, I, I think that that's the other thing, that for both shows, it was set up, and it was character development, but I feel like that for My Hero Academia, the character development was a bit, I don't want to say, like, subtle, but they, they did the whole tournament fleshed out, for the purpose of later. Like, how Todoroki uses his fire powder powers later to save Deku. He wouldn't have done that if Deku didn't convince him to use them. Right? Mm -hmm. In the first place. And that comes back with the thing with Stain, right? Also, guys, we're not finished My Hero Academia, by the way, if you haven't no. noticed. We're just comparing the tournament arcs in a little bit after. Right? But for Ruby, it's sort of like... Um, the character development is happening for the Fall of Beacon, but it's not... I don't want to say it's unnatural, but it's separate. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, the character development for the tournament arc in My Hero Academia was necessary to have characters develop in general, like, for no greater purpose, you could say. Like, but for the tournament, Pyrrha needed to have that scene with Penny so she would try to go after Cinder sort of thing and, like, go with, along with Ozpin's plan even more so now, right? Or, you, you understand what I mean? Or that Yang, like, hitting Mercury was so that, you know, like, later she would be in a position where she was, uh, sort of stuck inside of the school. And so mm -hmm. she wasn't with Blake, mm -hmm. right? And so that mm -hmm. made the scene later with that. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. But with the tournament arc, it's like, everybody's character development is just to have it for later use, where this was, the characters needed to development for immediate use. Yeah. I think that's the best way to sort of phrase the difference. Because, like, even with uh, Yuraka, right? Like, her development hasn't necessarily come back into the show yet, but it's there in case they need it for later. Yeah. Uh, if that makes sense. But mm -hmm. for Ruby, it was like, snap, snap, like, Pyrrha's gotta do this right now! <laughs> or, like, Yang has to she be in her dorms be the right in now! She the ground in the next 20 minutes, or so <laughs> help me God, I'm you turning under, the ship I, I hope that, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but you guys probably understand what I mean by mm -hmm. now, right? Like, you understand what I mean, right, Hunter? Yes. Um, and so I think that that's generally sort of it. Like, to an extent, like, it was very fully fleshed out, but I think that to be honest, like, they cut the Nora and Pyrrha fight, right? And so, that means that if, for you to cut something, you had to plan to do it. You know what I mean? And I think that yeah. they would have fleshed it out more if they had more time. But either they, way, they wouldn't have gone into a winner. Like, at most, we would have just seen, like, Sun and Neptune fight yeah. someone. Or Cinder and them go through more of the tournament, right? Because I think all the only all pairings that we saw were with Team Ruby. So we saw Team Ruby's big fight, we saw their duos fight, and then we saw their single fight, Right? Um, but with Juniper, we didn't see their duo fight, and with Team uh, Sun, we didn't see their duo or single fight. Yeah. If that made sense. So I think with Sun, I, I it think was that they would have like, had time. A but, little bit know. of like light reprieve, and also to get like Team Indigo out yeah. there. I feel like they just serve different purposes because this, like again, in the show, Cinder is basically plotting for the tournament to go bad. Like it's not the writers that are plotting for the tournament to go bad; it's the writers making Cinder plot for the tournament to go bad. And I know that sounds confusing, and you guys are probably like, "But the writers are doing both anyway." But it's like <laughs> it's an internal, I guess, 
like, stopping of the tournament rather than some anime, which is just like, oh, these dragons popped out of the ground, like, <laughs> I, 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 like you know That's what I mean? Like, and the villains don't even do anything, it just sort of happens that they mm. get interrupted, or mm. what, what have you. Anyway. What have you. What have you. Uh, so I think what that even? that's kind of it. I hope that this so is a good comparison. if you had to pick but... between the two. I just because... wish it was easier to do a merging of both, if yes. that makes sense. Like, I wish that Ruby had fledged out, but at the same time, My Hero Academia, y'all went a little too long. Or I guess they went long in the wrong places. Like, I would also, have liked to have seen some of the fights flesh out more less that weren't about Like, less at the beginning. Also, with that, like, race stuff and the piggy. Oh, I, stuff. like, all of that was really, like, I, I totally ignored all that when I was <laughs> doing that. Because, you know, like, I feel like that was totally unrelated. although technically still part of it. Like, I guess. If only there was, that like, wasn't some the important part, though. That was the thing. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Because that got them that into way. the qualifier. Like, I guess that made them qualify for the spots that they got. Also, like, it right? like it but tried still. to build up hype for people that would show up later, but those guys didn't really last very long in the fights proper. Yeah. So you wonder, like, and like what I was exactly kind of sad about point. how Todoroki and Bakugo went, and yeah. I was kind of sad about. How Which, I mean, Ida, I get it. and I, it was just really short. I wish that they made it a little, a little, little longer. But yeah, I, I think that a good balance is necessary. You know what I mean? But I didn't, I didn't not like My Hero Academia's arc because it went on too long. If that I, makes sense, I like, don't I know. Didn't, I wasn't like, huh, you know what I mean? Like during the fights, maybe during the race, I, I got think, a little frustrated. I think they're both, they're both very different. They, they, they both did what they needed to do. That's yes, the thing. because it like. Uh, I think My Hero Academia, it serviced uh, character development, where Ruby, it serviced plot. And then char to put characters in the right place. Yes. To set up, like, a chessboard, right? Exactly. But for, for My plot. Hero Academia, it was, it was a little... Yeah. My favorite... I've, I think I mentioned this before. My favorite season of Ruby is season three. Um, so, I don't, I don't know which one I like more. I guess they're so different. I just like them the same in different ways. I give... The advice, I'll tell you the same lie that, like, my mom tells me and my okay. siblings. Like, it's okay. We love you all the same. We love you both equally, yes. even though you're different. Yes. <laughs> anyway. I, they totally like me more. I hope that I you mean, guys enjoyed on. this I'll video. Uh, if you guys did, remember that you guys can uh, become patrons to join our Discord server. Request uh, videos like this one or just get early access to the videos that we make. And so we will see you later. Bye, guys.